This story is sponsored by EcoFlow. On the eve of September, I caught up with Mason, and we cooked burgers by that golden field and talked about change. And the next day, Allie and I woke early, packed up Old Blue, and headed north. We had set aside a few days to take breaks from our computers, and I had a spot that I was dying to share with her. She had seen it earlier in the summer when we went with Noah and Kaylee, but it was dark and we didn't stay long. So I couldn't wait for her to experience it in all its glory, because I knew she would love and appreciate it. It was early for color, but the drought was bringing early change, and these particular hills always seem to turn first every year. So while it was still mostly green, we had our eye out for patches of foliage, because all it takes is one tree to make a beautiful fall scene. No. <laughs> you have cards? I do. I think I have the Tron coffee one. And we got there plenty early and set up our camp and I showed Allie around to all my favorite nooks and crannies, and we listened to the soft background babble and skipped stones, and I felt at peace. Nice. <laughs> Had a good curve to it, too. went for a walk before dinner, where we found more hints of what was to come. Hey.
nestled in and got the coals ready for dinner while the sun was still above the pines. So if you've been following my story for a while, since even the early Instagram days, let's say five years ago, you know that I always use lights. I love the ambiance. I think that lighting adds so much to a scene and to life in general. And especially when you're out camping or cooking a dinner with friends in the woods or whatever, having lights changes everything. And so I've always had portable power stations. I've used a number of different ones and they've come a long way since the early days. I think I've landed on a company that I'm gonna stick with for a long time. And it's actually the same company I'm gonna use to power my entire off-grid cabin. And I'll tell you more about that as fall goes along, but for right now on this little trip, I'm using EcoFlow's Delta II. It's this little tiny station here, doesn't weigh much, easy to carry, it's got two handles on each side and it packs a punch. It's got a one to three kilowatt hour expandable battery and an 1800 watt AC output. It's flexible on-demand energy, keeping your appliances running for everyday use or as home backup. It will run almost all your appliances, which is hard to believe considering how small it is. It also has the same battery technology that Tesla uses. The Delta II has 3,000 life cycles, which is six times longer than the industry's average. You can use it for 10 years if you used it once a day. It can power 15 devices simultaneously, and you don't have to worry about overloading it with high wattage devices because of EcoFlow's X-Boost technology. One of the craziest things about it is how fast it charges. It arrived at about 30% battery, and I plugged it into the wall in our apartment and it was charged in under an hour. And if you're using a solar panel, it'll take about three to six hours with 500 watts input. So there's an AC charging port, a car charging port, the solar input, and the smart generator input, which is another EcoFlow product. So to keep it topped off, I brought a 400 watt panel. That's actually part of my off-grid cabin setup. Super easy to connect. The whole EcoFlow system is very easy to work with. The EcoFlow app is beautifully designed. It's very simple and easy to use, and you can connect all of your EcoFlow devices. This is the future of portable power. The EcoFlow Delta II is not just a battery, but an essential home appliance, whether for daily usage, outdoors around the property, or traveling and little trips like this. It's a handy and eco-friendly power solution for you and your family anytime, anywhere. So head to the link in the video description to check out more of EcoFlow's products and you can use my code for 5% off the Delta II. And so we cooked burgers, and corn from the local farm stand as the world turned blue. And it's funny how September 1st really felt like a fall day. It was windy and cold, enough for pants and a long sleeve. And as the night set in, it got even colder. But we bundled up in the back of the truck with a few old wool blankets and it felt good to breathe that cold air deep into the lungs. And we woke early to the beautiful golden touch of a new day. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
as we got the fire going again, I shot some film photos and watched the sun create steam from the morning dew. very busy fall season ahead of us, with a lot of shooting and hundreds of hours of editing. So I was deeply savoring the sound and the smell of this streamside escape before the wild rush began. I love the feeling of being out in the woods with an old vehicle and the supplies you brought with you. It reminds me of my days traveling across the country with my brother, and a few solo trips after that too, all of which changed my life in one way or another. And that's something I've been craving a lot lately. And Ellie's never been out west, so we've been daydreaming a lot about doing a big road trip in 2023. It's important to break up your routines, to challenge yourself and stir the pot and release steam. As much as I love my days in the hills, there's so much out there I have yet to explore. So the red October was poured and the coals were readied for a big omelet with veggies from our cabin garden. The peppers are hot. You want to try any raw? So good. <laughs> And we sat on a river rock and ate right out of the pan and snuck in a little seasonal treat afterwards. And for the rest of the day, we plan to keep hunting for foliage and put those paddle boards to use.
Though the day started brisk, the afternoon sun still felt like summer. found more foliage along the pond, as color always appears near the waterways first. And by now we had lost our summer tans, and so we moved slow to regain what we could, and we talked about the year and everything we worked towards and accomplished, about how we planned for this October to be free-flowing and centered around spontaneous trips, finishing the cabin, and enjoying our time there. And of course, we talked about our big farm goals that we had for the future. I found that if you genuinely believe in something and constantly say it out loud and talk about it, it slowly comes to fruition. And then we had one of our favorite snacks before chasing the sun to the top of a mountain. I got nothing to worry about by my side mm -hmm. I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side I looked out and I saw the rain I wanted it to go away Felt the weight of it all come down. Wow. A breeze from the deafening sound. And though it was a short trip, it helped recharge the soul. It was a joy getting to share one of my favorite places with Allie, and it was humbling sleeping in the hard bed of Old Blue in the cold air. It gave me a tingly feeling seeing the oranges, reds, and yellows pop up already as it wouldn't be long till the hills were ablaze in the fire of fall. I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. Bled from the wound for at least a year I couldn't clean myself up I reached out for the bottom run You hoisted me 